over there. But let's um, get chatting with the management of Shobha after recording its strongest ever yearly sales in the Indian real estate market. Shobha Developers is now all set to make waves in the Dubai property market with the handover of the first phase of its ultra-luxury project, Shobha Heartland. CNBC TV 18's Kevin Lee caught up with the company's founder and chairman, Mr. P. N. C. Menon in Dubai and began by asking him on the reports that he was looking to venture into other fields other than real estate. Here's a slice of that conversation. I decided to, you know, why you go and do something else when you have so much of opportunity with the same domain. And if, for example, India, we can easily be a billion dollar company. Hmm. My son is at it. And uh, similarly, you know, we feel that. Uh, we have got an opportunity to be a billion dollar company here in, in, uh, in Dubai only. Mm. So why look for other things, you know? There are only 6,000 companies in the world which has got a top line of a billion dollars. So we've been speaking about some of your projects in Dubai. We've been speaking about some of your competitors in Dubai. And you look back at India, it's a very crowded market. There are a lot of real estate developers over there. Will RARA help in some sort of consolidation where we'll only see maybe 10 or 15 people who are actually serious about real estate development stick on and the rest just fade away? Do you think this is good? I, you see, because it's a large country and uh, it is very difficult for uh, 10 builders or 20 builders to cover the whole country. So I feel that in the metros, the main metros of India, six or eight, eight cities of India, there could be probably about uh, 25 or 30 developers. And uh, the rest of the place, they'll still be there. They'll all start following the rules and regulations which has become the requirement. Okay, let's now speak about Dubai. You've been engaged in the Dubai real estate market for a long time, but your main project will be, I mean, the first phase will be uh, completed by the middle of this year. Uh, you've gone from just doing contractual stuff and construction stuff to actually launching a full-fledged product. What are your expectations from Heartland? This is in the heart of the city. We are only three and a half kilometers from Burj Khalifa, which is the central point of the city today. And uh, so we are, see, we are on the, in the heart of the city, and the development land, whatever we have, uh, is good enough for the next uh, uh, at least five, five years. Now, the focus on some of the projects within Heartland, I know there are various types of constructions, various phases, etc., is on the luxury and ultra luxury thing. Is that the market that you think you need to target in Dubai over the next five or six years, or will you also be looking at the affordable segment and slightly at a lesser price range? See, when I say um, affordable segment, it is actually the size of the unit. Hmm. We, we have one policy that we don't want to compromise on the quality of the product. Uh, specification does not drive the quality. The workmanship drives the quality. So we believe that in that segment, we have to definitely participate. And we should be in it, hopefully, within the next one or two years. Okay, that is uh, Mr. Menon uh, Senior talking about the company's plans in Dubai. And of course, I mean, uh, the company, uh, the business in India run by his son, uh, who is based out of Bangalore, who we uh, speak with more often, uh, but an opportunity to listen to the founder himself. Uh, we take a very quick break. This uh, flashes at the bottom of the screen. The government uh, is looking at uh, the seriousness uh, uh, of Pradeep Kumar's appointment as uh, the Bank Board Bureau uh, member last week. Uh, and he was the ex-CMD SBI, and we'll get you more details on this one from our uh, colleague Sapna in uh, just a bit. But let's just very quickly take a break, commercial break, and be right back with more on the other side.